Hello boys and girls, hello mommies and daddies. Welcome to another episode of Learning with Daddy Henry. My name is Henry. My name is Emma. My name is Lucy. And he's our Henry. That's me. And today we are going to look at the world of mini beasts. Ugh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> You know, Halloween is right around the corner, and we all know that talking about ghosts and monsters can be scary, but also a lot of fun. Are you afraid of ghosts and monsters? No. Well, then let's talk about something that you might be afraid of. Now, mommies and daddies, being afraid or being scared is very natural for being a kid or even an adult. Why do you think horror movies are so popular, right? Do you like horror movies? I never watched one. Wait, actually I did with Charlie and her friends. I just made fun of them when they screamed. Right, okay. Yeah, I remember. And uh, do you have you ever watched a horror movie? What? Okay, so that answers your question. I forgot, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I forgot. It's Lucy. Okay. Well, it's a part of growing up and learning how to overcome your fears. Everyone, please say, Overcoming your fears. Overcoming your fears. Overcoming your fears. That's right. There are lots of things that children can fear, such as dark. You know, are you afraid of the dark? No. Are you afraid of thunder and lightning? No. no. Okay. Yeah, right. Lily actually likes thunder and lightning, right? She gets like this by the window. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid of monsters under your bed or in the closet? No. No. Well, it's about overcoming all of these things. Even, uh, well, what about your dentists? That might be a little scary, right? No. Do you know what a dentist is? Mm. A doctor for your teeth? Mm. You look like you might go see the dentist quite. This is me when I go to the dentist. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, well today, let's make our fear a little easier to grasp and understand and, and focus on these special little creatures. Some of them call them creepy crawlies and lately we've been calling them mini bees. Everyone please say mini bees. Mini bees. Mini bees. Very good. Now, when we're talking about the things that are, we are afraid of today, Please remember to use plurals more than one, like mini beasts, right? Because you can't be afraid of just one, can you? Like you can't just be afraid of one spider. <laughs> Probably not, more than one, okay? And mini beasts are any small creatures such as insects or spiders. Like we say, creepy, ooh, papa, crawlies, you know, they crawl on the ground. Okay, now let's talk about the ways to overcome your fears. Step one. Everyone, please say, stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Very good. Now, this also goes for you, mommies and daddies. Most of the times when we see something scary, the people that are freaking out are usually the parents just as much as the kids. Correct? Correct? Does she? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's going out. Oh, I remember her freaking out. Yes. My uh, family loves spiders. That's great. They everyone in your family, George and Sonia yes. and Lily, you all love spiders. Yes. Very interesting family. Yeah, I know them well. They are very special. Okay. Number two. Everyone, please say talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. That's right. Now, uh, well, why don't we find an example, right? You want to talk about spiders? Spiders is something that. Uh, Lucy is quite fond of. In fact, she asks her daddy for a pet spider, right? Do you want a pet spider? Mm -hmm. Very much so. Do you want a pet spider? No, I. but I'm not afraid, afraid of some of them. I did say I'm afraid of them, but only some that are really, really hairy. Okay, uh, is it about uh, their size or their color or? Is this about how they're re really, really hairy and they have like, like four, four or six eyes. Okay, well, th that, that's not a, those are not problems for you. 
No. Okay, so here's the thing. When we say talk about it, to be honest, why are you really afraid of spiders? Do you know? I mean, you're not, but the, why? They're hairy and they have too much, uh, t too many eyes. Okay, they're hairy and they're, those are those are good reasons to be afraid of something, something who's very hairy. Like imagine and, a human being super hairy and having eight legs and like lots well, of eyes. Well, but that's the thing though, Emma, they're not humans, they're spiders. <laughs> All right, and we could also talk about something. Most of the time with these mini bees, they're a lot smaller than us. So why are we afraid of them? I think they're probably a little bit more afraid of us than we are of them, right? Yes, they can because kill you. Bigger. Because we're bigger, right? Yeah. Right. Well, we can actually kill them too. It's, there you go. See, now we're talking about it. So do you feel a little better now? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Okay. Number three, everyone please say, learn about it. Learn about it. Learn about it. That's right. Now, I'm sure being such a lover of spiders and having a really cool book like this one, Lucy could tell us, why are spiders good for us? You want to look bad it up? Bad bugs. They eat bad bugs. That's right. Thank you. See? Now, anything else you'd like to tell us about spiders? No. No. Okay. Well, last but not least, step four. Step four. Everyone say, laugh about it. Laugh about it. Laugh about it. That's right. Humor to me is always the best medicine. That's why I am always trying, and I do mean try, to be funny. Now, um, I found some jokes about spiders. Where do spiders hang out? I don't know. On the net? Their web? Huh? Yeah, you got it. On the web. On the internet, did I get it? The internet on the web. Okay, maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit funny. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about some other mini beasts that many of us, uh, many of us are afraid of. Everyone, please say cockroaches. 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 Mm -hmm. Are there anything good that we can say about cockroaches? Would you like to read in your nothing? See, even you don't like cockroaches. She's not afraid of insects and mini bees, but even she, Lucy, you know, has a problem with cockroaches. They're disgusting. They, they are. And you know that they can live for seven days without their heads. I, I'm not, yeah, I know. I'm not helping, right? And they could go for like months without eating and drinking water. Yeah. I'm not helping. I'm making cockroaches wait, sound like wait. monsters. <laughs> yes. We tried to look up something in the book, but we didn't find anything. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You try to look for something. No, there's nothing good about cockroaches. Yeah, nothing in the book about cockroaches. But I'm actually not afraid of cockroaches. At least they won't kill you like a spider. But they're disgusting. So we did. Uh, we did the talk about it. We did a little bit of learn about it. Let's now let's laugh about it. Okay. Here's another dad joke. Again, I'm trying to be fun. Okay. A wife said to his friend that you know what. My husband saw a cockroach in the kitchen yesterday, so he spent the next hour cleaning the kitchen up, uh, wiping down the floor, and then you know cleansing everything and make sure that there that there, there 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 won't be any more cockroaches. Today I'm gonna put a cockroach in the bathroom. I don't get it. So, I don't get it. The wife put a cockroach in the kitchen, so the husband decided to clean the kitchen. So next, she's gonna put the cockroach in the bathroom so her husband will clean the bathroom so she doesn't have to clean it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. Everyone, please say snakes. 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 Are you afraid of snakes? No. Are you afraid of snakes? Yeah. I think a lot of people are, uh, are afraid of snakes because we kind of have a history with them that goes all the way back to the Bible, right? Like snakes are very evil and scary. They are a little scary, but you know what? If you have snakes in your neighborhood or in the area that you live in, that actually means that you're doing something good. Because it's because very- Because snakes live in good environments. Yes, yes, yes. If it's to toxic, if it's bad, it's not suitable for animals, snakes will not be there. But still, be very careful. Now, again, they are a lot more afraid of you than you are of them. Okay, we're bigger. Because we're bigger, so stay out of their way.
Now here's the part where we laugh about it. What does a snake say in the library? <laughs> very good. You're very good at these jokes and you, th and you think they're bad. All right, next. I don't know if too many people are afraid of, uh, anybody here afraid of snails? Everyone say snails. Snails, snails. I don't know too many things that I can say about snails, so I'm just going to go right to the laughing part of it. Why don't snails go to McDonald's? Because they're too slow for fast food. Uh, uh. Not funny. Our next mini beast. Everyone, please say frogs. 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 Uh huh. Well, frogs are cute, right? So are, are, are you afraid of frogs? No. Anything good that, that we should learn about frogs? I guess I'll just move right to uh, going from talking about it, learning about it, to laughing about it. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to tell one of these jokes? Do you know why frogs bring paper to school? Do you know why frogs never bring papers to school? Oh, yeah. Because... Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Ripping the rip paper. It. Yeah. That's not funny. That's not funny. Okay. Uh, everyone, please say bees. 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 Anyone afraid of bees? No. No. I think I'm like the calmest one in our whole class when there's a when the bees fry fly in from the window. Well, good. It's good. remember again, number step number one of overcoming your fears is to stay calm, right? So thank you. Now bees are actually very, very helpful. They make, they make honey. They make honey. That's very important. If there's no bees, we have no honey for I know. breakfast. And what are we gonna do if we have no honey? Can you imagine a world without honey? Well, what would happen? We won't have any waffles. We won't have any pancakes. Mm. It We're would be horrible. It. Okay, so so bees are very good for us. And uh, again, stay out of their way. You don't want to get sting. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Here's the laughing part. Uh, what did the bee say to the flower? I don't know. Hi, honey. Next, everyone please say caterpillars. 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 Is there any reason why you're doing this when we're reading caterpillars? I love caterpillars. I had a caterpillar like this and then it turned into this, then this, then this, then this. What does that mean? Get fatter. Oh, okay. 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 And then it got so fat. That fat? Yeah. Did it turn into a butterfly? No, we just put it outside. Oh, you, well, you set it free? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it's because it turned this fat because it made a cocoon. No. And it escaped for lots of times. It went to the window. Oh, it tried to escape from your house. Yeah. So that's that's why you set it free, right? Let it back. Get, get. My mommy said it was too hungry. In our school, we used to have caterpillars where we um, roller skate, and every time it's recess, we go downstairs and look at the caterpillar. One time, we saw a caterpillar that was this long. I don't think I want to see a caterpillar that long. Anyway, see, this helps, right? We're all talking about it, right? Nobody's afraid of caterpillars anymore. All right, going back to the laughing part. Uh, why is daddy, daddy caterpillars? always short on money because he has to buy his kids shoes huh huh caterpillar has many 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 feet so yeah. they need many 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 shoes oh yeah that 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 one's actually funny thank yeah, you really funny thank you thank, it's thank like, you because I have a lot of feet. okay well this one's for the, this one's for auntie uh, mommy jasmine because she hates ants, all right? <laughs> Everyone please say ants. 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 Okay. What do you call the biggest ant in the world? Ant. <laughs> A giant? Giant. Get it? Giant. Giant. Big ant. Yeah, giant. Giant. So there's an ant. In the word, yeah. 
and <laughs> okay. Now let's 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 finish this out with the one the mini beast that I'm the most afraid of. Everyone, please say rats. 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 Okay. Uh, here's something: the the black plague that killed half a、uh, uh, many many people. The last pandemic before this one. It's really not the rats' fault. Everybody thought it was the rats. It's really not the rats. Yeah, it's humans. It's not. It's not that the humans. It's the uh, 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 fleas. Fleas? Yes, on the rats. Wait. So it's not the rats' fault. Here we go. Here's the laughter part that would help me forget about being afraid of rats. What does a rat say when it sees a bat? Oh、uh, no. Look, an angel. Thank you for watching. And speaking of fears and Halloween, we are looking forward to seeing you on October twenty ninth at our Halloween hot pot party. Be sure you're there with your very special costume. Thank you. My name is Henry. My name is Emma. My name is Lucy, and he's our Henry. That's me. And remember, there is absolutely nothing wrong with being afraid. Just always remember to protect yourself. Okay. Are you ready for one more joke before we go? No. Lucy, not me. Lucy. What flies and have four legs? What flies and have four legs? What? Two birds. <laughs> Now I know what you, how you, what you feel when I tell jokes. <laughs>